Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I made this gaming animation project from beginning to the end. And by the end of this video, I will also refer all the tutorials and provide the links for the techniques I used in this video. At the very beginning of any project, I do some research on the topic and then pick a pencil and a paper and do some rough sketches to put all the ideas on paper. For the gunman character, I took some references from the game Contra. This game was very popular in the early 2000s and I was recently going through my gaming library and my attention got into this game once again and, and from there I got inspired to make this animation project. So I started my research on the topic such as the illustration style I want to go with, how will the gunman and how should I portray the main villain. So for the gunman, I decided to reuse a character from one of my previous projects and then I modified the design a bit and updated the colors. For the gunman, I have also added some bottles to denote some chemicals. For the main villain, I decided to go with the coronavirus type of a creature. So I designed this character using only the basic shapes. Then I proceeded with the background illustration. For the background, I added some mountains and bushes in different layers. I added some depth in the environment so that when I move the camera I can add some parallax effect as well. For the ground I added a wall with an underground view. And to get a game feeling I added a health bar for both of these characters. So here I am with the illustrations I would need for this gaming animation project. Then I separated the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. So the animation starts with the gunman and the main villain on each sides of the screen. The coronavirus character attacks by spitting covid particles from the mouth. The gunman fires to destroy the particles. The gunman dodges some of the particles with a jump. Then goes to the crawling position and shoots the coronavirus character. And the coronavirus character attacks by rolling and the gunman character dodges with a backflip and a jump. And the coronavirus character rolls back. Again the gunman character dodges with a jump and a flip. So this is the overall idea of this project. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow for this project. To animate a bit complex project like this, you first need to break down the animation into pieces. Such as for this project, instead of animating both the characters at the same time for the timing, I decided to animate the gunman character first for all the actions and then animate the covid character keeping the gunman character's timing as the reference. For the gunman character, I further broke down the action into pieces. So for the gunman character, I needed a jump animation, a jump and a flip, a crawl down, stand up from the pose and a simple standing and breathing pose. For the gunman, I rigged the hands with Twig Bezier plugin, so I used arm structures for this. For the legs, here I used Rubber Hose 2 plugin, so I created two basic hoses for each of the legs and then decreased the bend radius to get a proper knee bend. After that, I parented the top layer with the foot and the foot with the end controller of the leg of the hose and the start controller of the hose with the body. Next, I animated the jump. So for this, let's check out how to animate a jump. A jump animation consists of total 8 key poses. These key poses are very important to animate a jump properly. Either you animate it in After Effects, frame by frame or in a 3D software. So a jump starts with a neutral pose. Then the character anticipates. For that, the character bends a bit. Then the push pose where the character pushes the ground to take off. Then the mid-air pose. So this is basically the maximum height it reaches in the air. And then a contact pose where the character starts landing on the ground. And then a recovery key pose where it passes through the neutral pose and then a little overshoot pose. And then comes back to a neutral pose. So I implemented all of these key poses in my animation and here is how it looks. For the jump and flip, I extended the jump. So I added another jump. In the mid-air, I flipped the character composition and added a hurt cut before it lands on the ground. 
For the gunfire, I added a circle and some rounded rectangle ships and added scale up down motion and added glow effect on it. So here is how it looks. For the burst animation, I added a few line strokes around a circle and a circle stroke. For the line strokes, I added trim perk and adjusted the start and end value and animated offset start and end properties under the trim perk. For the circle, I added scale up motion and decreased the stroke width to zero. And here is how it looks. Then after the overall gunman character is done, I proceeded with the coronavirus character. So I distorted the character with pin tool and then converted the pins into bone layers and for that I used the do it bezel plugin and added rotation keyframes on the bone layers. For the rolling animation I animated the position and the rotation property and then added some in between position keyframes. So here is how it looks. After the overall characters animations are done I moved on with the background animation. So in the background for the trees waving, I used pin tool to distort the layers and then converted the pins into bone layers with twig plugin. Then added rotation keyframe in a loop and then offset the keyframe to add some follow through. So here is how it looks. Then for the camera movement, I used some parallax effect on the background layers to add some depth on the background. Okay, so these are the steps I followed throughout the project and this animation is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. If you want to learn how to animate a jump in After Effects, then you can check out the link of the tutorial from the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. If you want to learn how to rig and animate a character with Dwig Basil, then do check out my videos on character rigging where I have explained it in full details. So I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorials. If you want to learn how to rig and animate a character with rubber hose to plugin then you can again check out the tutorial link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Now, if you want to learn how to animate waving trees in After Effects, like what I did in the background of this game, then you can again check out the tutorial link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner right now to check out the tutorial. If you want to learn how to animate gunman character in After Effects, then you can again click on the i button or you can check out the tutorial link from the description. And if you want to learn how to animate motion burst in After Effects, then you can click on the i button on the top right corner right now or you can again check out the link of the tutorial in the description. And lastly, if you want to learn how to add 3D parallax effect in After Effects, then do click on the i button right now or you can check out the tutorial link from the description. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.